One of the things we get asked the most is how we set up our vacuum table to make and form Kydex holsters. We've made various videos about this in the past, but now we are selling vacuum table kits. So if you're a holster maker and you use maybe a foam press or a membrane uh, vacuum press and you want to upgrade to membrane less, meaning you are using the actual Kydex to create the seal and suck down the vacuum, then you can buy a kit directly from us and it'll be ready to go out of the box. We have this one here, we're getting ready to ship it, but before we do that, we want to test and make sure that it works. So we have our table that we have custom cut with a grid to increase airflow, so we put um, vacuum lines in it. We have drilled it and installed our push connect fittings that connect to our hose here. So one end will go in the vacuum table and the other end will go into whatever vacuum pump that you guys choose. Uh, we can also give recommendations on um, vacuum pumps, but it doesn't come in the kit. You also have our custom T-Track framing with custom brackets and adjustable knobs. So you can just loosen these and change the size of the frame depending on how big the mold you're using. And you get an extra push connect fitting to go into whatever vacuum pump that you buy. So you get the table ready, set up, already pre-installed, ready to go. You get the frame, you get four feet of hose, a fitting, and an instructional sheet. So this is all set up, ready to go. We're gonna test it, we're gonna show you how it works. So we're going to mold a Glock 19. We have our heat press. We always preheat our heat press. So if we haven't uh, ran Kydex through it in a while, we run it empty because when you put a piece of Kydex in it, the temperature drops dramatically and that can affect definition. So every heat press is different. We have ours set to 397 degrees, very specific, for 116 seconds. So we'll preheat this. Normally just let it run through like one cycle or half a cycle to regulate the temp. So we just make sure we like to blow off our Kydex before we put it in the heat press because if there's any dust or dirt or debris on the material, it'll melt into the material one heated and look like shit in the final holster. So blow off the Kydex, blow off the press, blow off the mold. So this goes in here, 116 seconds. See you in a minute. So this is membrane-less forming. So we're actually gonna use the Kydex itself to create a seal around the mold. So we take our frame, it creates a zero place for the air to escape, and then we can vacuum it down like so. You've probably seen membrane forming. That's like the big vac formers that um, are super big, square, and use like a, like a rubber pad or a foam pad. Frankly, those are ass for making holsters. Um, they're cheaper because you can use smaller pieces of Kydex. In this scenario, nine times out of 10, you're gonna need a 12 by 12 inch piece of Kydex because it has to be big enough to cover the whole mold and have enough room on the edges to create a seal. But this is going to give you far better definition. So this is the finished Glock 19 uh, holster mold that we made on the kit. So if you want to upgrade your holster making journey, uh, upgrade your workbench, make a better quality product, and you are wanting to get into vacuum forming, uh, hit us up. The kit is not on our website, so if you're interested in purchasing one, you can send us an email at info at um, I started doing this five years ago, and I had no idea what I was doing, and now I do, so I'd love to help people out along the way. So if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Good luck.